before we start, um, I'll ask that we begin uh, with a short prayer. Okay, um, can we quiet ourselves down and uh, sign ourselves in the name of the cross, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we praise and thank you. You anoint us to bring glad tidings to the poor, proclaim liberty to captives, recover sight for the blind, free the oppressed, and build communities in keeping with God's vision of justice. Through our event today, show us how to be light of the world, salt of the earth, seeds that sprout love, and leaven that infuses humanity with the desire to promote human dignity and solidarity. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Without further delay, I now hand over to Yixuan of Monfort Care, who will share with us this session. Over to you, Yixuan. Hi, good morning. Uh, no, good afternoon. Thanks, Lydian. Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Yixuan, social worker from Monfort Care, serving elderly in the community. So now I'm going to share with my slide. Here we go. I trust everyone can see my slides. Okay, good. Okay, uh, thanks again for inviting uh, Monfort Care to come to this uh, conference, the short session. Uh, I've been serving seniors in the community for I think more than 15 years already. There are more and more different kinds of needs uh, raising in the community. That's why from a mental care point of view, we always wanted to support the much needy, the much uh, disadvantaged group. That's why we have this Good Life Home Bathing service coming up in 2018. Before I share about the bath, uh, please allow me to share about what is Mountford Care about. Uh, Mountford Care is a network of programs committed to improve the life of individuals, family, community facing transitional challenges. We are good social workers, but of course, with the aging population increasing, we also have a staff nurse and nursing aide, health carers are with us to serve the elderly. We are committed to delivering community based social service to empower lives and strengthen communities. This is our values. I was so much wanted to share with you our values. Our values are unique, but however, we breathe in and breathe out every day. Dare to be different. We are willing to challenge the norm and to inspire others through our actions. We chong, we are very chong. Uh, we have uh, we use different methods and different strategies and different solutions to overcome limitations that the drive to make things happen. We teamwork. We are not just teamwork with our team members, but we also teamwork with external parties like Caritas, like our, our different members, our volunteers and residents in the community, different social service agencies. We teamwork together to resolve certain issues in the community. And the things we want to share with you is our mottos. It was come from the St. Louis Marie de Montfort. Those whom the world rejects must move you the most. I think why we have this really strive to come out home building program is we are inspired by this motto every day. When we see our clients, we remember these mottos deeply. This is our centers to give you a rough idea where we are. We have a three family service center. Family service center basically serve the residents from they are still very young until they are aging. Family Service Center, we have Family Service Center in Tolobanga. We call it Air 27 FSC because the address is Block 27, Tolobanga Way. That's what we call it, Air 27 FSC. We also have a Greater Aye Family Service Center who we serve the residents in Chinatown area. Marine Parade Family Service Center, we serve the senior, the residents in the east side. We also have elder care services. Good Life is our elder care arm. We call it Good Life Center. We have a Good Life at Budok. 
Good Life at the Central, we serve the seniors in Topayo. Kreta Aye, serve the seniors in Chinatown. Tolobanga, we mainly serve the seniors in the southern part of Singapore. We also have a client from Sentosa as well. We also have a center in Ishun to serve the northern part of the seniors. We also have a Makan in Marine Parade. You may probably heard about Makan. We use the community kitchen concept to appeal to the stay alone seniors, come to our center, they cook and dine together and build a social report. We also have a three specialized service. Big Love Child Protection Specialist Center to serve those abused child and their parents. We also have a grief matters. We serve those people who experience grief and loss. And lastly will be YA, our flagship program for active age. You may hear about Kuala Xue Tang, YA Kampi College. This is our good life. Our idea, our framework, how we serve our seniors in the community. We adopt this model called Enable Model. We hope to empower our seniors who will have a positive attitude towards seniors and aging. We hope they can age well when they are still very active. However, inevitably, seniors will only get in frail and frail when they diagnose certain disease or certain dynamics happening in the family. We hope they can be care, well cared for and supported in the community. When they're going to live in this world, we hope they can live well. That's why we're grief matter. We also have a lot of end of life work towards with seniors and their family. This is a general the introduction of what Monster Care is doing. Before I go to the bathing part, today our topic is very private and also very important to a person. How do we maintain our personal hygiene and our personal dignity? This is a home bathing. We just started in end of 2018. This is now a very new program. However, we make a lot of effort to really promote this program and educate the philosophy of this program about the dignity of seniors or even the dignity of everyone. Before I start, maybe I can ask you a question. Have you taken a bath today? I usually like to ask this question to all the participants who come and join our session to hear about home bath. When you saw these questions, I believe most of you will answer, yes, la, I bath today this morning after I exercise or I bath uh, last night after a long day of working hours. Of course, I bath myself, make myself more refreshed and more relaxed. However, in Singapore, we have a lot of bedbound persons. I'm not just talking about seniors, but some of persons who are bedbound because of incident, because of disease. They are able to clean themselves. While we start this project, every day when I shower, right, I feel I'm a very lucky person. I can still shower myself. I can still style my hair. I can still do some makeup for myself. And actually my seniors, my bedbound, bedbound clients, they are unable to do that. Okay, so now allow me to share with you a video. Some of my, my clients and caregiver will tell you their story. Over the years, we have seen scores of seniors who are unwell and have gotten frail. They need quite a lot of help just to cope with the activities of daily life. We have also seen an increasing number of caregivers who are growing old themselves. Oftentimes, physical frailty and lack of resources hinder them from their heartfelt desire to provide the needed care. These caregivers are often saddled with a deep sense of helplessness. We ask ourselves, is there anything we can do to assist them? Actually, 
one neglected area of their daily life is they don't have the chance to bathe. In bathing is such a simple and yet important aspect of our life. It is not just about personal hygiene. It is also about dignity, about how we actually value a person. Saya sudah jaga pakcik selama 16 tahun. Pakcik macam ini tak boleh. Macam mana kita nak nak dukung, nak angkat, nak angkat pergi bilik air. Sedangkan nak tukar pampers kadang-kadang pun tak, tak terdaya nak buat. Tengok kalau dia mandi, bila dia dah mandi, dah fresh, dia happy selalu. Ah. We clean your hand, okay? Yeah. Thank okay. you. You will let, okay? From the many bed-bound seniors' families, we learned that if they would like to shower a senior from head to toe, it requires a lot of effort and resources. Many times, it may even seem impossible. Before you go into their place, and after you did for them, right? I think it's like a lot different. They're also happy and when they're happy, I, I can feel it. So I think this is what carry on motivate me. Lah. We believe that it's the basic right of every individual to have a clean living environment and cleanse themselves physically. This should not be out of reach for bed bound seniors. It is not just a shower service, but a dignified and therapeutic bath experience for the seniors. Normally, after a full day of uh, running around from household to household attending to cases, I find myself uh, drenched in perspiration. But I know that at the end of the day, I still can go home and help myself to a warm shower. This is something able-bodied people like us have taken for granted, which the Vipa elderly are not able to enjoy. We didn't know that such a simple thing that we can do can bring so much positive impact to those who are inflicted and the family. Pada siapa-siapa yang memerlukan perkhidmatan home bidding, carilah perkhidmatan yang macam makcik buat sekarang ni. Pasal ada ramai juga apa orang-orang yang di luar sana yang ingin membantu. For Manfred Care, seeing the challenges and discomfort faced by these seniors, the caregivers and their families, we hope to do something that would provide them with some respite and comfort. We truly want to acknowledge the hardships borne by these seniors and the caregivers and to also remind and encourage the caregivers that they too deserve rest and care. More importantly, we can see your love and your commitment towards your loved one. So let's work together and let's journey together. Okay, so this was our our corporate video, our service video. We filmed it before COVID-19, just right. And every bus, when we serve our senior, we see them as the last bath for them. Like just now, you see a Malay gentleman, uh, Mr. Harong, actually passed away during the COVID period. So actually, the team, we feel very sad for his living. But I think we also feel very blessed. We have an opportunity to serve him before he left. So now the question for all of us here is, is bathing just to fulfill one's basic need? For most of us, yes, it is a basic need. 
because when we feel tired, feel we are a bit we're a bit dirty, whatever, we the our 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 natural thing is you will go to the bathroom and shower ourselves because we are able body. However, for many bed bound seniors we serve, hundred percent of them they are bed ridden. They are unable to sit up. They need to have a lot of support to turn themselves to change their diapers. 90% of them, they have an NG tube. They cannot eat themselves and they cannot respond. I actually admire their caregiver very much because from my simple mind is if I care for my loved ones so difficult, right? I may send them to nursing home already. However, our caregiver love their loved ones so much and willing to spend their energy, their time, their effort to be with their loved one and care them 24 hours. However, sometimes I can, we, can, we should recognize the caregivers are really tired. So in terms of basically, right, it's very simple. So when we talk about um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? Physiological, the basic need, I will just punch them. I will just wet wipe them. This is the most easiest thing to make my loved one clean. However, how about their self-image, their dignity? We have a gentleman and ladies here, right? I think we all want to look, we all want ourselves to look good. So our ladies, we will buy package and do a tree hair treatment, we will do facial. Occasionally we will color our hair, or some of the uh, ladies will do medical pedicure. Nowadays, more and more gentlemen would like to keep themselves very neat, very stylish hairstyle because we want to look good. We want to feel good because we look good. And we also want to present ourselves good to others. But actually, our seniors, Bebang seniors, they are not able to do that. We have seen many cases, right? Because they are not able to bath and they are able to make themselves clean. They have a lot of smell on themselves. They have a lot of smell in the room. So in return, right, children, grandchildren, to hey, I got a ma, a bit dirty. Actually, I don't want to approach them. This is a self-esteem that I got ma portray themselves. Actually, I'm, a, I'm dirty, so that's why my grandchildren don't want to come to my room. So for home bathing, we hope to bring up this uh, program to the self-esteem level. Everyone wants to look good, even though they are bedridden. This is a much person-centered care to bring up the sense of self-respect of the patient themselves. Just now you will watch from the video. At any moment when our seniors attend to the bath, they are covered by a very big towel. From undress themselves, undress the diapers, transform them into a bathtub and in the water, they are all covered by a towel. No one will be no one will see their body in fact. So they feel secure. Hey, actually, um, I still can keep my privacy in a sense. We have a lot of gentle uh, male clients. When we undress them, right, we cover by a towel. Those gentlemen actually grab the towel very much because they worry, right? We will open the towel, we will see their body. You can see, though they cannot respond verbally, you can see from their verb, their, 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 their Body language, they actually they, they have a lot of worry, fear, and scare. So we often ensure our clients, it's okay, relax. The, cow, the towel will be always on you. Your body won't be seen. So we need to assure our client every time. So when we bath them, we'll also inform our senior, though they cannot respond, but we believe they can listen. We will share with them, hey, Amma, I go, I, we are going to shower your hair, wash your hair, wash your face, wash your hand, leg, the body. So every step, every step we do on them, we will share with them, communicate with them. Sometimes we will even sing, uh, if we know the dialect of the Agong Amma, right? we will sing a different dialect song, and then feel a bit happy and relax when they are in the bathtub. This is what we believe we hope we can provide the person care, bathing, and change the current uh, home personal care system. Currently, home personal care can't really serve the home bathing, home uh, bedridden clients. 
Bedding, we see it as a very professional service. Just now you can see from our video already. We have a trained team. We have a professional equipment to make sure our clients are safe and being served properly. This service is not new in the world. Mobile bus has been in Japan for 40 years already. This service is now a claimable item under long life health insurance system in Japan for more than 20 years already. In Taiwan, uh, mobile bus has been introduced to Taiwan for more than 10 years since 2018. This service is also part of bundle payment service under the long-term care system. In Singapore, though the bus, tab, the bus service is still very young, we brought in the service to Singapore in October 2018. We're still trying very hard to let the uh, residents know about the service, to let all the hospital know about these services. They can refer the client to us and the caregiver can call us if they have a such need. It was, people will might, might think, actually my, my home has no bus stop. And for a Singaporean, we don't have a habit to merge ourselves in a bus stop. However, medical reports, uh, research also told us, right, actually a warm bus is able to prevent skin infection. Right? See, when, when we shower ourselves, right, we often find anger, let anger or whatever have a lot of dead skin. So the, the, the part I enjoy the most is when I attend to a senior, provide a bus to them, right? I like to massage their toe because they have a lot of dead skin, right? So I like to remove those dead skin and massage their toe and their leg. They will feel very comfortable. And often, our very first bus to attend to a senior, right? You can't imagine how many dead skin, right? We actually remove and the water actually becomes very black. So you can imagine how long a senior never been properly clean. So the warm bus is really conducted at a senior's home, the most comfortable place. We provide cleanliness and relaxation. I think the most important thing, as we indicated in the video, right, we release a lot of caregiver stress. I still remember one of our caregivers shared with me, right, because of your bath, you transfer my dad from a bed to the bathtub, I now am able to change his bed sheet. Especially for those seniors, right, they are a bit big size. Even with the helper's help, right, they can't really turn the patient. And we don't need to even mention about change bed sheet or clean the, the air mattress. So many of time, our caregiver take the opportunity when we pass the senior, they change the bed sheet, then clean the mattress. This is the only opportunity they can do that. So many of them, when we see the clean bed sheet, then when we remove the climb back to back to the bed, right? Actually, the senior looks so fresh. Clean hair, clean face, clean body, clean bed sheet. And the vibe actually changed the whole families because no more smelly smell. The room very clean and the grandchildren are able to approach the Agong Amma after the bath. This is what we hope to see. And we also hope to see if this service can change the family dynamics, can bring the dignity and more vibrant life to our Bebao seniors. I think everything is worthwhile. This is how we deliver our service. Uh, we will receive the referral. So we'll assess client's physical condition and the venue stability. Just now you watch the video, right? Actually, we just need a three meter by three meter working area. We even bus a senior in a one room rental flat. We can carry all of our umbrella to her room. So we fix the appointment with our seniors and the caregivers. Then we will conduct the bath on the day. So usually the, the whole process is about two hours. So we'll do a pre bath assessment. So our nursing aide will assess the senior before we conduct the actual bath to see how's the vital signs. If got fever, la, if uh, blood pressure too high, la, if today is not right, 
so we may cancel the bus. But if everything is okay, we will continue. At the same time, the two other team members will do the setup of the bus type. So the actual waiting is actually last about 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll wash their hair. I still remember uh, we have a senior. She can still respond. She can tell my team member about, wow, here very itchy. Can you please massage more? The kind. And I think we love to hear from our client if they can still respond. But many of them, they cannot. We will wash their face. We will clean their whole body. Like I said, we will massage them. We will dry the body and we'll dry their hair and safely bring them back to the, hall, to the bed. So after bathing, we will dress them. Then we'll do another round of a vital signs checking because some of the seniors are very frail. They, the vital sign may change after the bath. So at the same time, the other two team members will disinfect everything, including the bathtub, every single corner the client may touch, including the floor. You may see bath bathing is a very wet service. However, because we are trained, this is a professional service, you can only see water in the bathtub itself. The, the rest of the space, the rest of the floor, whatever, is actually very dry. I think the interesting part of this program is we often discuss with the caregiver. How is your client? How is your loved one? How is their response after the bath? So every day after the bus ride, one day before, we also check in with the caregiver. How's your dad? How's your mom? How's your spouse? This also built our relationship between the caregiver and my team. The frequency of bus service per client, we usually do once every two to three weeks. Depends on the client's needs also. We also have a client request for every one month. Yeah, depends on how how caregiver can manage the situation. This is how just now uh, uh, the, the video is more focused on our clients and caregiver. So you will see this is a stackable uh, bus stop. So every time we will bring a lot of barong barong into client's house. Bus stop la, even Komo can send with, with, if there is a need. And we allow holes, allow uh, power, allow extension cord. A nursing bed also. So this is how much brown brown we bring. Actually, we have a lot. I have a lot of uh, other people in the sector. Sector ask me, right? Wow, every time your team very tired, eh? need to bring so many things to clients' home. Is it worth it or not? My answer is always when you see the client smile, when you see caregivers, they, they thank us, they feel the stress is a little bit of relief. I think everything is worth. This is the one room rental flat I just now I mentioned. In a such small space, we can still perform a bath to our client. So we'll set up our bathtub, we will we'll serve our seniors, and we'll bring back the bathtub with all of our umbrella back to our van. A very cute pin van. In, in future, if you see us on the road, please pop up a bit to give us encouragement also. Uh, we have been featured in different media. Uh, this is stress times. I think we are very, very blessed. In December 2019, Archbishop actually uh, visited our program and give us his blessing. I think with his blessing, uh, give the team a lot of encouragement to continue this tough service. We've been questioned a lot about why Morpher Care need to have this service, why Singapore seniors need to have such a service. But I think we've gone through a lot of difficulty and challenges, especially uh, when we the senior we serve, right? They are all very frail. They cannot respond. So uh, his encouragement really, really give us a lot of inspiration and made us continue the service till now. Even going through a COVID-19 situation, we are still serving our seniors. So previously, you see the photo here in the stretch time. Actually, we have no glove, no mask, no face shoes. 
But now because of COVID situation, we need to wear gloves, need to wear mask, face shield, and apron. It's to protect ourselves, also protect the client. Uh, you see the situation, the house, right? Actually, when we pass our seniors, we off the fan, off the air con, and close the window because we are afraid, right? Senior will, because they were under the towel, and they are actually naked, we are afraid they will catch a cold. So no, no fan, no air con, no nothing. So you can imagine as our team member, we will sweat all over the place. However, we still continue to serve them because they really deserve a dignified bath. Whatever we can do as an able person, they really cannot do. This is some feedback from our caregivers. I think uh, whatever the feedback is always the motivation for us to carry on. They appreciate us. However, on the other hand, I also appreciate them to give the team the opportunity to serve their loved one. I think the most common feedback from our caregiver is, you, you see the second message is, my father is fine. As usual, he slept soundly after the bath and had a late lunch. Because if they, you, you can imagine as a normal, as an able person, after showering, right, actually we can actually sleep very well. Same to the bedridden seniors. Many of time when they feel uncomfortable, when they are in pain, they usually will make a lot of noises. It will impact a caregiver's sleep as well. However, after every bus ride, the most common feedback from our caregiver is, hey, my loved one, my mother, my father can sleep very well. I think this is the whole purpose. We also hope to release our caregiver stress. That's why we share this is more than a bath. Good life home bathing is more than a bath. We are not just serving the people. We are also serving the caregiver and the family members. While the family member, many of time, right, they will be with us when we are conducting the bathtub, uh, the bath. So the caregiver will often ask us, hey, why you do that? Why you do this? Then can I do this when you are not around? So we are also doing a lot of education to our caregiver how to provide a better care to their loved one. Maybe just a very small, small, small gesture that can make the senior feel more comfortable. We also have a lot of partners like Caritas, like other hospitals, social service agency. They understand the importance of this service. So they refer the client the patient to our service. They also help us to promote also. I think the most important is uh, home bathing, the service is not funded by any government agency. We believe a good project can be a community initiated project. That's why we go through a lot of challenges and difficulties. So because of a lot of donors supporting us, then we can be here today still. Our, because our manpower cost and the van and the, all the uh, expenditure, right, we all depends on the donation also. And many people will ask us, hey, what kind of clients or what kind of patient or what kind of older person you accept for this uh, service? Okay, usually we serve seniors 50, 50 and above. However, as I mentioned, we also accept those uh, bedridden persons who are below 50 years old and above, 50, 50 years old. We have a, currently we have a three uh, clients who are very young, 30s, 40s. One of the gentlemen is actually was the core sobre winner of the family. Then because of the car accident, they become a he become a total bed bound with tricky, with NG tube. And the wife need to be a sole caregiver and with two very young kids. One is still in primary, one is in secondary. We actually see more and more this kind of client being referred, very young, bedridden clients. It's actually very sad to see because some of them actually, actually at my same age also. 
you see a, very, a young person just lie down and bed, the caregiver need to take care of them for the rest of life, then you will see, yeah, as a social work, social worker, right, would really need to support them. So other ages, other, other ages or whatever, right, any other requests are based on a case-by-case -case basis. So we can always have a discussion, we can always have a different uh, options to serve our bedridden residents. However, we do have some exclusion because we share the same equipment amongst the, in the community, amongst all the seniors we serve, right? So some of the seniors they, or person, they have a contagious disease, right? Like uh, scabies, uh, HIV, HEP, HEP A, B, C. Some hospital acquire pneumonia, MRSA, MA, MSSA, we call it super bad or some of equivalent uh, seizures or whatever, some of the disease we really cannot support because we only have one bus stop and it's actually shared by all the seniors. So we can't have any risk to risk further on our other seniors also. This is the part we have to have exclusion. And the home condition with bed bar we also cannot serve. And PEG, PEG is actually a tube for the uh, stomach. Uh, cancer patient, they usually have a tube into their stomach and because we'll, we will merge the seniors into a water, we also afraid the water will have some impact to the tube, la, have some infection. So this one we also exclude. Then however, we have some seniors, they also have a wound or bad sore. Some have a very deep sore, multiple sore. Uh, it's tough, we cannot pass them, but we need to wet the sore or wound, heal a little bit. Then we can provide waterproof wound dressing, then we can put them in the water. Uh, we also have some seniors that have a fluctuating blood pressure and filling up well on the same day of a bus stop, right? Because the bus could be, have an impact on their vital sign, we also need to call for cancer, cancellation on the day. But the rest of the situation, we can always discuss with uh, the hospital doctor and nurses and see how we can better serve our client. So this will be our client uh, admission criteria. Uh, just now I talked about we have a different uh, group partners with us. So actually I get permission from Caritas. I can, uh, uh, if there's any opportunity for y'all and the participant here to support this home bathing, right? And you can support us in terms of uh, cash in kind. So uh, with the permission from Caritas, we put out this, uh, giving the SG QR code here. If you would like to $1, $2, $10 for us is actually very precious mm, because this is a not funded program by government. We also hope to serve uh, seniors as much as possible. And this is our van, very cute van. So just now I see Lydian say, oh, you show your t-shirt very cute. So it's actually, this is a very, for us from my point of view, right? We are serving a very difficult clients every day. We may see them. This may be the last bus we serve them. Tomorrow they may pass away already. So I must have a very bright van running on the road to let the public know this is a happy job because we are fulfilling one's wish. They want to be clean. They want to have a dignity. So this side of the van is we are bathing an akong. The other side of the van, actually we are bathing an ama. So this is a very cute van. So initially our, our, our colleague who is doubling up as a driver, right? He was telling me, are you very shy that as a guy drive a pink color van? But eventually, actually, we have a lot of good feedback from this van. Some of caregivers, because they see that our van, our number is actually at the back of the van, they call us. Yeah, so this is our number. If you have any friends or someone you know, they require such a service, feel free to call us, WhatsApp us. We will try our best to assist you. Okay. That was my presentation. We still have 10 minutes to Q&A. This is my email. If you have any questions, any inquiry, feel free to write me an email or text or WhatsApp to this number. Thank you.
Okay, I will start sharing now because we are going to do Q&A. Okay, so I will have my colleague Angeline here to facilitate the Q&A for us. Anything you hope to share or you hope to feedback or you hope to... Can I flash the QR code for donation again? Sure. <laughs> More than happy. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm Angeline. Yeah, do you have any questions for us? I, I'm actually, uh, Yushin and myself, uh, we are actually doubling up as the bath team as well. Uh, so uh, we, can, we can try our best to actually answer your questions. Uh, if you have any burning questions that you would like to ask. If you do not want to uh, ask over the uh, mic, you can always type in the chat group, then we will uh, answer from there. Um, hi, right, uh, Ryan. Okay, uh, we only have one bath team, one van. Yeah, but because uh, of the intensive manpower, we actually need three. If you observe the video, we actually need three persons to serve one uh, patient. Uh, so for Ishan and myself and some others, we are actually doubling up uh, to, to ensure that our core team is also getting the enough rest and also taking their annual leaves and stuff. So uh, there's only one core team. Yeah, but there are sub teams who actually come in to double up as the different roles. So we, each of us actually train uh, at least 40 hours before we can go out to serve one client. Hi hey Angeline, uh, the um the team that goes out are they do they have to um attend special training or are they trained nurses? Oh, okay. Uh, in fact, whoever that comes in, they can have no experience at all. We will actually provide a forty hour training at least forty hours training before they go out to serve the seniors. So actually, uh, the training is uh when they join the team, they need to go through these forty hours before they can start. So it's okay that if they do not have any experience as a nurse, as a nurse or uh, a health aide, yeah. So they can come in purely as a layman as long as uh, they understand that this whole job scope is very tedious. So uh, in the beginning, I think when we actually had our training uh, three years back, we actually have uh, aches all over because uh, I think we have lack of exercises. So that uh, two weeks of intense training was like a IPP, IPPT, is it, in the NS for us, yeah. Yeah, it was quite an experience, actually. Okay, uh, so response, uh, Lydian's uh, question, we also have a, a staff nurse to support the team to respond to any nursing or medical uh, issues uh, the team facing at the scene, yeah. Thank you, Ishan. Thank you, Angeline. So the, the QR code is actually linked with uh, giving.sg. This is our official uh, donation platform. So if you hope to donate, you may need to create an account with uh, giving.sg. Uh, there's a question by Linus uh, asking if we have actually encountered any challenges or any, difficult, uh, any difficulty in handling clients. Yeah. Uh, for challenges we do have, uh, I think, especially in the beginning, yeah, because when we actually, uh, okay, because when we first started training for the 40 hours, we actually practice on an able person. That means even Yushuan, myself, we are actually the client being bath before and we actually bath uh, our able colleagues as well. Yeah, so when we actually gone down to the, um, uh, the actual bath already for our patients uh, is actually quite challenging because we then realized that uh, some of them, they cannot bend their legs. Some of them, they cannot straighten their legs. So it could be a challenge if we actually try to uh, turn them a little so that we can actually wash the back for them. 
yeah so uh, but as the days goes by we we do our uh, risk management protocol we also uh, fine tune uh, some of the training techniques uh, after experiencing each uh, client yeah did I answer Lina's question? So maybe I can also respond, right? I think we try to serve a different profile of the seniors. I think the most difficult part is the pain management of the clients. Because some of our seniors, right, they may experience a lot, a lot of pain in themselves. So when we transfer them, right, even a very gentle, <clears throat> very, we, we do very gentle already, the client may still feel very, very, very pain. So we need to even more gentle and every step we do is very slow motion. Yeah, so we try our best to, to fit the senior's condition of the day. And the, because the, the conditions are very various, right? So uh, sometimes it may take longer time. So I also uh, saw uh, someone post how many uh, clients we have at this moment. Currently, we have active client about 35. So, and now we, we hope to increase and uh, currently we only do uh, Monday to Friday. And of course, we are also planning to do if we should extend our service to evening time because we understand some of the, the children, they are actually working. So they have some requests. So we are doing the reviewing of our service now. I think to further answer the question, because now is the COVID period, we also understand that there, uh, there's a maximum cap of actually two visits per day. So uh, in order to lower the risk, we are also doing only two uh, clients per day yeah, by the core team. Uh, currently, we are doing Mondays to Fridays. I think Yushen answered to Clara's question, right? After scanning the QR code, how to send the money over, yeah. Um, Angeline and uh, Yushen, if, uh, if our participants like to maybe use PayLa and all those, is there a way for them to do it instead of using giving.sg? Or can they sign, send in a check to Monfort Care? Uh, yes, for the... Yes. <laughs> Uh, I will need sorry. to share the. I need. I yeah, will maybe you the... want to flash that page again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> sorry, Angeline. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh yeah online code. Uh, uh, uh you can actually send a check to Montfort Care as well. Uh, just stating as Montfort Care. Yeah. Uh, M O N M O N T F O R T because uh some of the check came in as M O N then F O R T so we had a problem banking in the check, yeah. But for PayLa, uh, I think for now we still don't have a QR code for PayLa direct. So you will need still you will still need to go through the giving dot sg, yeah. You can post your check to Glyph at Yishun eight three eight Yishun Street eighty one dash zero one. Uh, uh, dash three two two Singapore seven six zero eight three eight. This is our office. Our home building is at. In fact, we are located opposite Katip MRT. So, uh, in any case, if you would like to visit us, uh, appointment will is required. So you can always uh give us a call and uh when you want to drop by lah. Yeah, because of the COVID situation, we are also controlling the uh, number of visitors coming in. Yeah, but our physical center is at Yishun. We serve the whole of Singapore. Okay, thank you, Yishuan and um, Angeline. Um, just a quick check, any more questions from the participants? Alternatively, you can also reach out to the Monfort uh, care team by going on to their website or contacting the numbers uh, shared on the screen. Okay, thank you again to uh, Yixuan uh, and Angeline. I think it is a very meaningful uh, program and thank you for your insightful and heartfelt sharing because we can really feel 
that you're really there um, sharing with us um, your personal experience as you undertake um, this, this uh, providing this serving service and serving the, um, the needies and uh, protecting their dignity on this as well. Thank you for your questions from the participants. So um, before we wrap uh, the event, uh, may we ask all the participants to stay with us for a short while to provide us with your feedback, um, as well as um, for us to share with you some uh, upcoming um, announcements. Okay, so if you can just um, scan the QR code on the screen, okay? Alternatively, you can also um, click on to the link in the chat. Can I ask the tech team to share again the link itself? Yep. We'll give you a couple of minutes uh, to fill in the feedback. Thank you. So the form is in the link, in the chat link. And we really appreciate uh, the feedback that you give. So it will help us to fine tune uh, our event. To give about two minutes for you to fill in the feedback. Um, Ryan, you want to assist uh, Lillian? Or, or Lillian, you want to click on the link itself in the chat? Or are you using the QR scanning? Hey, Ryan, maybe you can assist Lillian on it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, we'll just um, highlight to you Okay, a few things uh, that's coming up. If you have not already done so, we really would like to invite you to join us for the main uh, Ignitus event that's happening on the 4th of September. It's up there on the screen. Okay, um, the event okay, will be hosted by um, our Grace, Archbishop William Go, and uh, we will, as, as well as we have uh, many distinguished speakers uh, including uh, George Yeo and representative and speakers from parishes and uh, organizations. So um, do keep the day available and join us for this uh, very meaningful event uh, for Ignitus Social Mission with Love. Okay, and uh, leading up to the 4th of September, we also have other uh, micro events that you can uh, take part in. Okay, you see that on the 21st of August, we'll have experiential workshop by Catholic AIDS Response Effort in short call care. Okay, it's uh, taking place on next Saturday morning. Okay, and uh, in the afternoon, we have another program by Monfort Care. It's called Life After Care Giving What's Next. Okay. And on Sunday afternoon, um, Claire's mission will be um, having a micro event on Christ in the marketplace. So um, we encourage you to uh, sign up for these events and spend your weekend meaningfully with us. Okay, you can scan the QR code for more information and register for the events. Okay, alternatively, you can also find the details in the chat as well as on the Catholic 200 SG website. So uh, there are many exciting events and uh, do go and check it out. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you again to Yixuan, Angeline, and our good, the good people at The Good Life. You are doing really meaningful work here. Okay, so um, let us um, end this event with a closing prayer. And we also ask that you continue to, bless, to be blessed in your very meaningful work. Okay, um, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, O Lord, our God. Your love calls us to be your people. By sharing our many and diverse gifts, we share in your mission. We ask you, Lord, to shape us into a community of faith. Nourish us by your word and sacraments that we may grow into the image of Jesus. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, heal us that we in turn may heal the wounded. Form us to be instruments of love, justice, and peace in our land, and send us to proclaim your saving word. Renew us, Lord, that we may renew the face of the earth. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you once again to Montfort Care for the wonderful sharing and the lovely afternoon. And to everyone, for being here. We wish you a good weekend and um, we look forward to seeing you again in the other micro events and at the main event. Goodbye and God bless. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>